Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day two of virtual learning. Uh, day one went about as smooth as one could hope. Uh, today, uh, I would like to talk to you guys about some housekeeping things. I have until noon to take attendance for Mount Vernon, but the district is allowing for parents and students to log on any time within the 24 hours of the day to be able to um, count as attendance. I, I guess I can go back and change it. We'll see. Um, but please feel free to access this information when you best can do it. I know a lot of parents are working right now from home. Um, I know a lot of you are trying to take care of an older kid, a younger kid, or maybe uh, your three-year-old and, and an even younger kid. So I understand that there are lots of things going on that are out of our control right now, and we're just making the best of what we can, um, what we can do, right? One one day at a time, one thing at a time. So please, um, when you do log on, take the poll. Um, yesterday's poll was, if you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. And you just click on hooray, and that's how I'm taking attendance. Today's poll will be the very hungry, and you click on caterpillar. Did you guys know that the butterfly has a life cycle? The life cycle of the butterfly goes like this. First, it starts off as a teeny tiny egg. Then when the egg hatches, out comes a teeny tiny caterpillar. We're gonna pretend like this is a caterpillar. Crunch, crunch, crunch. It eats all its leaves and gets really, really big. And once it's really big, it spins its cocoon or chrysalis. That's a different word for cocoon. See the chrysalis? We're pretending. Once it stays in its chrysalis or cocoon for quite a long time, it pops out. And what comes out? A caterpillar? No, out of the chrysalis comes the butterfly. And the butterfly flies around, flies around, flies around, flies around. And guess what? It's The cycle starts all over again. The butterfly comes and lands on the plant, lays its eggs. There's the egg. Pop! What comes out of the egg? A butterfly or a caterpillar? That's right, caterpillar. Crunch, 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 crunch. Remember, he eats all his leaves and he gets really, really big. And then he spins his cocoon and takes a long nap. And when he pops out, He's a beautiful butterfly, the life cycle of the butterfly. As you can see, I have my safari hat on today. I'm ready to go in the garden and show you guys some caterpillars that landed on my milkweed plants and um, a chrysalis. One of, my or one of my caterpillars turned into a chrysalis. And I can't wait to go and show you uh, the caterpillars and the chrysalis. So come on, let's go. Hello, boys and girls. This is Miss Singleton's garden. And I wanted to show you this one special plant in particular. This plant is called a milkweed. It has these little orange and red flowers on it. And what's special about this plant is that butterflies, especially the monarch butterfly, loves to come and land on it. And then guess what? It lays its little eggs. And then guess what? Caterpillars come. This is a monarch butterfly's caterpillar. And there's one there, and then there's a tiny one down there in the bottom. I'll try to show you later. All right, once the caterpillar changes into a chrysalis, the chrysalis looks like that. So we're gonna be checking in every day and trying to see how our chrysalis is changing and how our caterpillar is changing. All right, he's looking pretty big right now. Let's see, can you see that little one down in there? He's so tiny. He's under that leaf. I promise he's in there. But we'll watch these two guys get bigger and turn into that chrysalis like that guy over there, see? 
See that green thing right there? That's the chrysalis. All right, bye guys. Boys and girls, we have been learning about authors and illustrators. An author is somebody who writes the words in the story. An illustrator is somebody who draws or paints the pictures in the story. Yesterday, we learned about the author of Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. We learned that the author was Bill Martin Jr. and John Archambault. We also learned that the illustrator was Lois Ellert. Today, we are going to learn about the Very Hungry Caterpillar. But guess what? The Very Hungry Caterpillar is different than the Chicka Chicka Boom Boom book because the book only has one name on it, Eric Carl. Eric Carl is a pretty cool guy. He both wrote the words for this story and he drew the pictures. He is both the author and the illustrator. Here are some words that he wrote. Here are some pictures that he made. Eric Carl, both illustrator and author. Check out the link below to hear Eric Carl read The Very Hungry Caterpillar.